Now we start the second part of the walking tour, hidden roads to Nancy's castle and to a prison hill. Come with me. I walked this way six weeks. I was living close to the castle and this road we took so often. And uh, yeah, let's go. Go for it. Yeah, we prayed the rosary coming up and down. We had like friends from America over, a friend and the brother living in this house and up there next to to um, the castle. I will show you the hidden roads of Magigoy. Let's go on the walking tour. And if you like it, give a like and subscribe to the channel and share the video with other people. Wow, I didn't expect this to happen. This is something new here. Oh, they shortened the road. That wasn't before. Expanded a little bit the, the winery or how to say the vineyard. So I go up here. burn the bushes here if they want to have space. You see the old road and we are coming to the new road. That was yeah here again the road now. Let's go together. It's getting spring temperature rising. Lately we have like around 18 to 20 degrees Celsius end of March, 28th of March. At night still it's a bit chilly, we're out around like two, two degrees at night and um, we are getting warmer. The next days it should be around seven degrees at night, eight degrees at night. So at night time as well, temperature rise. See again, they burn if they want to clear the, the fields here as well, you can see it. Hey, and well, if some of my friends of America watching these videos enjoyed the tour, a little memory for you guys too. You see spring and the people are starting working in the fields again. A little wind you hear it. If some of you guys watching know this road, please write it in the in the commentaries. I would like to know your experiences about these roads or if it's new for you. And let's go. Sorry for the wind, I forgot my mic at home. And um, yeah, so you have to, the real sound without the mic, which is covered for wind. 
So we when we were here in first of November to fifteenth of December last year, two thousand twenty-one, we had nearly six weeks of constant rain. You know that was an amazing time, and um, yeah, a lot of water here on this street, on this road, and um, yeah, happy that we have the blooming of the spring. Look at that! Isn't that beautiful? But we prayed often the rosary going down here, the flame of love rosary. Oh, always there's a big road up there next to the mountain. We took that road as well when there was too much um, water on this this road here, you know, mud and water. And we had good time to pray the road, always the time to pray the rose in the Divine Mercy Chaplet going up there, half an hour. In the back, maybe you can see it already, there's the castle of Nancy and Patrick, our neighbors at the time. And it's, you know, also when I left in the morning, I went early to the mass, like 10 o'clock mass or 9 o'clock mass. It was medit like meditation walking down this road and I could let my thoughts stroll and be in peace in nature. Walking down here, that was really nice as well. Nice experience. So I had around four lives until now in Medjugorje because I stayed the first seven days in one hotel. Then I stayed like, I don't know, that was like September, October in a hotel, another hotel, that was another life, another place. And then I stayed at the apartment, which I'm going to show you later. And now I'm staying at another place. It's all kind, like four different lives, I would call that in magic I had. You can see the castle already. Check out, there are a lot of testimonies about Nancy and Patrick. Maybe once I can do an interview with them as well, I will see. And uh, yeah, continue the road to the castle. So Patrick was this millionaire selling cars and he got for his fourth wedding by his brother-in-law, I think, a book about the, the, the messages of the Our Lady from Medjugorje. And in short, he didn't want to read it. He was like, money was God, the dollar note. He showed his son, that's my God. And then he wanted to throw away a book, but he gave it to Nancy, his wife. And she said, no, if you have to throw it away. And somehow they concluded he should read at least one message. And okay, he did. There's the castle, by the way, which they built. And they, so they concluded, okay, I'm going to, Patrick said, I'm going to read one message. He choose the, has choose the, cho chose the, the shortest one, and the shortest one was, when he was reading it, this is your last chance. And it touched his heart profoundly, he converted, he's a faithful Catholic now. And um, he built that castle, came over here, left everything in, in Canada behind him, and came here. And the story in detail you have to get from... And you, in, on YouTube you can find that I may do a, an interview with them at one point on my channel as well, I will see. So God willing. And they built this castle for priests, they can stay there without any costs. And yeah, just walk there, you get a, get a first impression of that castle. Our neighbors at the time. And 
they're still constructing it's going on and on construction as you see it's a work in progress like the Sagrada Familia in Barcelona you see here construction workers are working already here continual work in progress There's the castle. I hope they clear the way. They do.